Welcome back, crazy friends. So in this video, I hope to share with you graduation party ideas. And I'm also going to include pictures from my daughter's graduation last year. And I just feel like it is so important, especially this year, to give those graduates an amazing party. And so hopefully by sharing these pictures and how I set things up and what I do beforehand and the things that I use, you will get an idea of, of how to set up your own party this year. So for this party, what I did with the flowers is I bought all the vases from the Dollar Tree. So those were a dollar. And then I went to Costco and bought some roses, hydrangeas, and the hydrangeas, I actually really enjoyed putting those together because they're bulkier so it takes less hydrangeas to fill the vase than roses so i did all of the floral arrangements myself a few days before and i used small balloons from the dollar tree in the school colors amp them up and then i got little signs from amazon that had the year that she's graduating you did it graduation hats, you name it. I'll be linking all of the stuff that I got off of Amazon in the description box below. So make sure that you check that out. It will make it so much easier if you see something that you really like to go and find it. I also went to the Costco Business Center and that's where I got all my meat, all my shredded lettuce, my beans, everything in bulk. It's usually a little bit less expensive to purchase from the Costco Business Center. And if you have a cash and carry or another wholesale restaurant place, that would be an ideal place to get all of your food as well as all of your restaurant supplies. So in this video, you'll also see some chafing dishes. Those are a little bit more expensive. They're about $100 a piece, but if you do a lot of entertaining and you actually want to enjoy your own party and not have to be replenishing food over and over and over again that is a game changer really it is because you can put so much food in it and it will keep it nice and warm for a very long time so you're actually able to enjoy your own party that you're giving then i also purchased these huge plastic inflatables from amazon and you fill them with ice so it keeps every every th item that you need to stay cold, cold. I use these for every party I throw now. You can use them to put sodas and waters in them or all of your cold food. Also on that table, I, I have, I keep them in the freezer. They are ice packs and they go into an insulated bag and I can put cold stuff on that. So in this party, I put sour cream as well as guacamole um, on top of them and then just some salads that people had brought. Well, family brought some salads. I also did a slideshow for my daughter. So we brought the TV outside. I put together a slideshow of her when she was little all the way up to her senior year. I put it to music and I had that running at the beginning and kind of the middle of the party so people could enjoy walk by and and kind of see a progression of her growing up and then I also hired a band it was a my son's friend who is very good at his craft and so we hired him to do live music for the rest of the party which was fun so this big chunk of meat that i bought at costco business center we made carne asada with it it is like a flank steak it's a uh, called a beef flap and we marinated this overnight we cooked it the day before we chopped it up the day before i put it in chafing dishes into the fridge after it cooled and then we just heated it up the day of the party and it turned out fabulous we also did chicken like a chipotle chicken and to be honest i would only do one meat next time a lot of the chicken was left over and everyone gravitated toward that carne asada and then i also had i made a cilantro lime rice and 
I did a black beans and I seasoned those up as well. So if you had vegetarians, they would have something as well to eat. I had the tortillas in a shaping dish. Let's see, the shredded lettuce was there for all the keto people so they didn't have to get a tortilla. They could make their own salads. So I think everyone was happy. I know everyone was happy, right? I did tons of decorations. I had a dessert area. So I had a variety of different desserts. I also had a cake and I cut that like an hour into the party so everyone could take a piece as they were on their way out because we kind of did an open house type thing. And I made little signs that were kind of fun for senior year. So you'll be able to see those in the pictures as well. Then Amazon also had these huge, huge, huge rolls of uh, graduation caps. And it was clear, but black graduation caps. And so you can put the color of your child's high school down before and then cover it with these fun graduation caps. So that was, I put that everywhere and it just made it feel more festive. I also had a photo booth and at first the kids were kind of reluctant to go there. So a lot of the adults, I kind of nudged them and said, hey, can you go to the photo booth? So the adults started having fun. Then the adults started bringing their own kids in to use the photo booth. And by the end of the night, all the kids were enjoying the photo booth as well. I also framed a, snap it and share it and so i had a hashtag for the party so all the kids could hashtag all their photos so we could see all of their photos as well as the ones that i took during the party i wish i could show you how many people showed up but it was it was it was pretty successful you know it's successful when your daughter comes up and said oh that was the best party ever thank you so much and so especially this year you know they're missing out on so many things it's just to have them be celebrated and get to do something fun with their friends Ho hopefully we will be able to throw them a huge party this year since they missed out on so much because i know my daughter and i would be completely and totally devastated if we weren't able to have a party for her and she missed prom and all of that so and then i had a cocktail station and so i served lemon drops and margaritas and i added the booze in both of those and then i also for the keto people i had little packets of lemonade that were sugar-free and bottles of water and vodka so they could make their own lemon drop that was sugar-free because a lot of my family and friends uh, started doing keto as well. So I always wanted to have keto options for everyone else. And I also put this cocktail station further away from everything else. So then I knew who was going there and getting alcohol. Kind of kept the kids a little bit at bay from sneaking the alcohol. And I love, love, love this cocktail punch container that's stackable it holds ice it can hold your garnishes at the top and i got it on amazon you can use it for punches which would be a lot less expensive than purchasing sodas in cans as well as bottled water we've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is here Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna
So hopefully by seeing these pictures, you'll get kind of an idea of what you want to do at your graduation party. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Remember, I will leave all of these things in the description box for you. If you like the video and it gives you some good ideas of what to do for your next party or graduation party, please give this a thumbs up. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. My name's Tracy, and I'm glad you're here with me. Bye, friends.